Okay, so the James Webb Telescope is proving once again that it's absolutely amazing at helping us understand the universe. It spotted a potentially habitable super-Earth only 40 light-years away in the TRAPPIST-1 system. This super-Earth is bigger than our planet, but smaller than Neptune. It's in the perfect spot around its star where liquid water could exist, maybe even life. It's a huge find, making us wonder. Could there be life there? And what would it be like? So, what's so cool about super-Earths? Usually, they're rocky and can be up to ten times bigger than Earth. With stronger gravity and thicker air, they might have places where life could easily exist, maybe even types of life we've never thought of. The James Webb Telescope used its cool instruments to find water vapor, methane, and a little oxygen in the super-Earth's air. Since these things are super important for life, this planet is now one of the best maybe life exists here planets we've ever found. That's not all. This discovery also helps us learn how planets are made and how they keep life going. TRAPPIST-1 is a really cool dwarf star with seven rocky planets. Three of them are in the habitable zone. Scientists have been interested in this system for years. Now, this super-Earth is its best find. The star's chill temperature makes things stable, so there's less harsh radiation. But, since the planet is so close to its star, one side always faces the star, and the other is always dark. Despite this, the super-Earth's thick air might balance things out, making life doable in ways we don't fully get yet. The best part? They might have spotted signs of life. These are chemicals in the air that hint that life could be there. Things like methane, oxygen, and carbon dioxide are in weird amounts, which suggests life processes could be happening. Things like volcanoes can also cause these signals, but the possibility of life has scientists and everyone else super excited. This discovery gets us closer to finding out if we're all alone in space. Water is life, right? Finding it is a big deal when looking for habitable planets. The James Webb Telescope found possible evidence of water vapor in the super-Earth's sky, meaning there might be liquid water on the surface. This means the planet could have huge oceans. If you mix that with good air pressure and the right temperature, you could have the perfect place for tiny life or even something more complex. Even crazier, maybe there's water underground? If the surface is too extreme, life could hide in underground water, similar to super-tough organisms on Earth. Though this planet has great potential, one side always faces its star, which can make living conditions hard. However, scientists think that the thicker air could help balance the temperature by moving heat from the sunny side to the dark side. This could make a livable area where day meets night, creating a place for life. This discovery wouldn't be possible without the James Webb Telescope. It can read the faintest signals from far-off planets. This has changed how we understand exoplanets. It found chemical traces in the super-Earth's air using infrared. The future is looking good. Future missions will build on the Webb's discovery, which brings us close to knowing if we are alone in the universe. Because of this super-Earth discovery, people are now interested in space exploration again. The planet is too far for us now, but people are thinking of cool ideas like light sails and nuclear engines to go the distance. Back on Earth, scientists are using computers to look at data from the James Webb Telescope to learn new things about the planet's air, surface, and possible signs of life. It has also made the public excited about going to space. There's now more money for missions to other planets, and a new feeling that we are reaching for the stars. Because of the super-Earth, scientists are trying to pinpoint life signs, such as key molecules. Oxygen, methane, and nitrous oxide are under watch. The James Webb scope has spotted methane and carbon dioxide. Now, scientists are looking for changes in these gases. Changes could mean active life. This is not proof, but it adds excitement, sparking a push for more data. One of the best parts is picturing the life on this super-Earth. Because of its unique setting, high gravity, air, and water, life may have evolved so new ways we've never seen. 
Some think that microbes live in the oceans. Other people believe there are full ecosystems where life has adjusted to the planet's conditions. All speculations come from the data collected to consider how life may be elsewhere. With proof of life growing, what should humans do if we do find life? The super-Earth has caused talks on if we should reach out to aliens. Some say contacting could bring tech improvements and answers, but others say not to since that might be dangerous. The James Webb scope makes us figure out our place in space. This super-Earth is not just a win. It's a beginning for people in space. We need more data so the push to explore this planet becomes more pressing. There are efforts being made to send probes to other star systems, which could reach the super-Earth fast. Meanwhile, Earth-based efforts will still change how we see the super-Earth. This all sparks a new push for humans in the universe. The discovery of a great habitable super-Earth by the James Webb Telescope marks a huge step in our exploration. With signs that suggest liquid water and the right setting. Does this mean we aren't alone? It opens up doors that change life insights, challenges us to dream big, and motivates us to reach toward our sky goals. As an interstellar future awaits, exploring life beyond our planet is now real. So to share the experience, follow the channel to stay updated with the James Webb Scope. Wow, the James Webb Telescope is really showing us how awesome it is at finding stuff out there. It just spotted a super Earth that might be perfect for life, hanging out in the Trappist-1 system, only 40 light years away. This super Earth is bigger than ours, but still smaller than those gas giants like Neptune. It's in a spot where it could totally have liquid water, which means maybe even living things. Seriously, this is a huge deal. Is there life on this planet? And what would that even look like? So, what's so cool about super Earths? Well, they're usually rocky and can be up to 10 times heavier than Earth. They might have stronger gravity and thicker air, which could be just right for life as we know it or even life we've never even thought of. The James Webb Telescope is so good that it found water vapor, methane, and some oxygen in the super-Earth's air. Those bits are super important for life. That makes this planet look like a top contender to maybe have life. This amazing find doesn't just make us think there could be a living place out there. It also makes us rethink how planets are made and how they keep life going. Trappist-1 is a really chill dwarf star with seven rocky planets, and three of them are in the perfect spot for life. People have been geeking out about this system for ages, and the super-Earth is like the best thing they've found so far. Because the star is cooler, there's less of a risk of crazy radiation. But... This planet is so close to Trappist-1 that one side always faces the star. The other side is stuck in the dark. Still, the super-Earth's thick air might keep things balanced so life could figure out how to make it work. But here's the coolest thing. They found stuff that might be signatures of life. You know, chemicals in the air that hint something's alive. They saw methane, oxygen, and carbon dioxide in weird amounts that might mean living things are making them. Earth has stuff like this because of living organisms. Sure, maybe it's just rocks doing their thing, but the idea that life could be there is super cool. This gets us closer to figuring out if we are the only ones out here. Water is life, right? And this telescope spotted water vapor in the air of the super Earth, so maybe there's liquid water on the surface. That means it could have oceans, and if the air pressure and temperature are right, maybe microbes or even something bigger could be living there. And get this, maybe there's water underground. Even if the surface is too hot or cold, life could be chilling in underground water, just like those extreme creatures we have here. Okay, so this super Earth sounds awesome, but one side is always facing the sun. The other is always in darkness. That could mean crazy weather, but scientists think the thick air might spread the heat around. So, the line between light and dark could be a sweet spot for life. Maybe there are creatures there that love the light and dark. We wouldn't have found this without the James Webb Telescope. It's a super amazing piece of tech that can see faint signals from planets far, far away. 
it used infrared stuff to find the chemicals in the super-Earth's air. This is just a start, too. Even better telescopes are coming so we can check out this world even more. Tech is getting better and better so we can figure out if we are alone. Because of this super-Earth, everyone is excited about flying around space again. It's too far to reach right now, but people are thinking up crazy ideas like light sails and nuclear rockets to get there. Here on Earth, scientists are using computers to look at the telescope's data better, hoping to learn even more about the planet's air, surface, and if there are signs of life. Everyone is getting pumped about space again. More money is going to missions to visit other planets. People are also curious about the signs of life in the super-Earth's air. They want to know the chemical markers that show the presence of life. Oxygen, methane, and nitrous oxide. The James Webb Telescope found methane and carbon dioxide, but the scientists now look for changes in the gases over time. Changes in these gases could be signs of active life. However, the things that they found are not proof, but they add some mystery to this discovery. One of the most delightful of this discovery is what life on this super-Earth. The life forms may change uniquely with high gravity, atmosphere, and oceans. Some scientists expect that the creatures on this planet are microbial, and they happen to exist on the surface defended from radiation. As the indications for habitability grow, and the issue arises, what can humanity do if we spot new signs of life? As the proof of habitability increases, the issue arises. What will humanity do if we find signs of life? The discovery of the super-Earth has reignited our chats about how to act for the good or against it. Webb's insights force people to face moral or threatening situations they would have in their place in the universe. Finding a habitable planet is the starting point for all of humanity in space. As we gather info, we need advanced missions to look at this distant world carefully. These spacecraft could get to the super-Earth in a couple of decades. In the meantime, other efforts help us describe it. It does not mean the end of the space trips, but it is the start of our journey. The James Webb Telescope discovery signifies development in space exploration. It does not leave us answers, but makes us think about and have different views on life. It reignites a lasting question. Do you ever question if we're by ourselves? This discovery will be useful for generations to come as it expands one's understanding of life and our spot within our universe. This video should let all of us dream, explore, and work side by side with one another. As we stand on the doorsteps into an interstellar future, it will offer immense challenges with the reward. The search for life beyond Earth is no longer a daydream. Real situations occur right before our eyes. Like this video and subscribe.